Hey, what is up guys? Aris Ji here from Purecast 9. And today, this episode is dedicated to all of you out there who are gearing up to buy the OnePlus 5. For all of you who've already bought it, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You've already done it. But for all of you who have saved up money or you're saving money to buy the OnePlus 5, stop right there. I'm going to stop you right there and I would request you to watch till the end of this episode as I give you my reasons as to why you should not get that and get the Galaxy S6 or the S6 Edge instead. Now, you can call me batshit crazy or you, you can start trolling me because you're going to say, but the Galaxy S6 is a phone from way back in 2015 and in terms of phone years, that's like what, 10 years ago? Not quite so. You see, you are willing to pay something upwards of $500 for OnePlus 5 and I respect OnePlus 5, I respect uh, OnePlus as a company, they've done really well uh, in providing uh, phones at reasonable prices and they've been performing really well. In fact, my wife uses the OnePlus 3T and it works like a charm. It's got a decent screen, a decent camera, solid build, good sound quality and uh, very good performance. But I'm still using the Galaxy S6 and my Galaxy S6 in more often than not, it outperforms her OnePlus 3T uh, and, and in two major areas. One is the camera, hands down, my camera beats the camera of the OnePlus 3T and the screen. The Galaxy S6 has a 2K screen and it's 2017 and OnePlus 5 is again giving you a 1080p display. Why would you go for that? You know, it makes a huge difference in terms of sharpness. Uh, and uh, although OnePlus 5 is also offering an AMOLED screen, but a 2K display and that camera of the uh, of the Galaxy S6 is phenomenal. You know, I, I'll, I'll try to uh, give you links to some photos I've taken with my Galaxy S6 and you can check them out for yourselves. I've edited them on the phone itself. Nonetheless, those pictures were taken with my Galaxy S6 and you can check them out for yourselves. So instead of going right off the bat and paying something upwards of $500 for the latest phone, which offers you in comparison specs, which are much higher than Galaxy S6. But in terms of the main thing, I mean, when you look at a phone, what do you look at? You look at the screen and the screen itself is 1080p for the OnePlus 5. And it's a 2K display on the Galaxy S6 or the S6 Edge. The camera is amazing. Now you're going to say, but the OnePlus 5 has a, has a dual camera setup. It's a dual camera setup and it's in a, it's at its nascent stage right it's the first dual camera phone from oneplus it's not anywhere near in comparison to the big boys like the apple and the samsung so i would suggest hold your horses save yourself a couple of hundred dollars and just wait it out if you must get a phone get the galaxy s6 or the s6 edge save yourself the money get yourself an awesome phone i mean it looks cool too it's got the, the, the confluence of the glass and metal, premium look, premium feel in the hand, excellent screen, rock solid performance and an amazing camera. So that's my suggestion. I would have done that. If I really had to get a phone, if I was transitioning from a phone that's like almost dead and I had to get myself a phone, I would get myself the Galaxy S6. If I could afford, I would go for the Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, but that again is more expensive than the OnePlus 5 stock model. So, in terms of saving money, I would suggest go for the Galaxy S6 or the S6 Edge and you'll thank me later, for sure. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've hated it, give it a thumbs down. I will love you nonetheless. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to PureCast9 for more videos. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.